Hi Restoration Church, it's Manuel and Cristina here in Bologna, Italy. We just wanted to send you a little update about what we're doing, what's going on here, and we just wanted to say hello. Hi, so uh, starting with um, Tesori, the pen freedom business, um, we, we, we had a, a really good start, um, but uh, for, uh, for problem with this, uh, family, John, Michael, Le Michael Lee, had to return to the States uh, for now in, indefinitely. Uh, so, um, so yeah, that's uh, uh, our first uh, prayer request for him and his family as they navigate through all this process to, um, to get back, to get home after several years. Um, but we, 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 we still think uh, that God is leading us to go through with this ministry and um, so we are continuing me from here and uh, he, he from, uh, from US uh, going forward with uh, whatever we can. So uh, yeah, pray for us, uh, pray for uh, um, wisdom. In, uh, how to how to how to do things because uh, first w was uh, easier uh, all of, all of us here and now it's uh, it's a little more complicated. Uh, in regard to COVID situation uh, in, in February the the cases uh, really went up, especially in our city Bologna, and so they closed the uh, like they closed the city. And um, we closed also uh, the, the church building um, as, uh, as, as an example to the city too. So um, that, we, that we were taking care of, of yeah. the city because the problem was that the cases were going up because people were still meeting. So just, it, just so that we could protect each other and protect the city itself, we closed it and did online services. Yeah, and, and we reopened the 11th of April. We, we are still um, meet the, the teams of our church online, but we hope soon to, to get back in person. In the past months, I attended a online, uh, an online class um, with X29 um, about preaching, and um, it was very, very encouraging and I, I could really uh, grow a lot and um, on the 22nd of April I'll start uh, the second the second part of the of the of the class so pray for me that I that I can continue to grow uh, in, in the in the world uh, in regards to VT the anti-trafficking ministry we've been active we've been working a lot on uh, different organizational aspects with the leaders and we've been doing online outreach so we have called different women during the lockdown and there's a lot of work to be done and a lot of work going on behind closed doors so we're grateful that we can still reach out to these women through the phone we haven't been able to do street outreach because it's it's not possible with the restrictions that we have but hopefully we will begin soon during the lockdown, I was also meeting through video with a treasure uh, alongside another volunteer and we were doing a Bible study. She was actually studying the, the story of Moses and Joshua and uh, it has been really nice, but we haven't actually talked recently because she traveled, uh, but it's been really nice to read the word with, with her. We also have been able to support a Nigerian treasure who's in another city right now. Um, through the phone, I've been translating for her when she goes to the doctor because she's had different health issues and we've been translating her story so that when she gets called to testify at um, in an immigration court, she can know what, what has been written of her story and she can share it. So we're helping her with that and just doing a lot of work from far away. We hope to see her soon, but it's, it's going to take a while because she lives in another city right now. And we also were supposed to meet another woman from Romania, but she disappeared. So it's been it's been kind of difficult because we know there are a lot of women in need, but sometimes because they're so so controlled, um, they just disappear from 
from one day to the other. So pray for the for the treasures, pray for the women that we could reach out to them and that they would know Jesus. With the National Alliance, I, I will be launching the manual that I wrote soon. It, it'll all be online. So there's a lot of work to be done on, on the technological part of this. And so please pray that we can do it soon. And we hope to launch it in the first week of May. With DT, we just finished today a one week prayer and we decided to have um, a topic each day for different aspects of the ministry. And today we ended with thanksgiving and praise to God for all that he has done. And it was a beautiful week of connecting with the volunteers and with all our, our partners in the ministry and sharing what God has been doing and what we're praying for. And uh, we're, we're, we shared it with, with you too. So hopefully it's not during the same week, but hopefully you can join us in these topics and as a national alliance, we also had a Zoom prayer meeting yesterday where we met from different parts of the country, from north of Italy to south of Italy and the islands. And we all shared what has been going on in our ministries and we were able to have a time of prayer and encouragement. And it's been nice to actually hear from other people because we're all going through the same thing and um, we don't feel so alone that way. Um, besides all of the ministry activities, I've been spending a lot of time with my neighbor. Um, my neighbor has a daughter who, who's my son's age, two years old, and we go to the park basically every day. We, we go grocery shopping together and we've just been spending a lot of time together. So pray for her, pray for our witness to her and her husband. Uh, they're, they're very open and our friendship has grown, so we're hoping that we can talk more about Jesus with them. And, uh, and then I also have another two neighbors who I've shared about Jesus with. They also have little kids and it's nice to have a community here. And our biggest desire is that they would know Christ. Thank you. Thank you so much, for, you so much. for supporting us, for praying for us. And we really hope to see you soon. Yeah. Thank you.